Google Earth makes it really easy to create personalized maps with annotations or place marks that highlight points of interest. You can then share these Google Earth maps with anyone else, so long as they have Google Earth and an internet connection. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the process of adding a place mark in Google Earth along with an image and text that we can share with other people. So here I have Google Earth open, and what I want to do is add a place mark to mark a particular location along again with text and some imagery. So I'm going to pick the Salem State sign, um, which is on North Campus of Salem State University, right near the intersection of Lafayette and Lawrence. So it's just about right here. So I already know where I want to put it, so I want to add a place mark there. So if I click on the push pin icon on this top menu bar, it adds a, that place mark, but right in the middle of the image. And it opens up this new place mark dialog window. As long as this dialog window stays open, I can reposition that push pin to where I want it. So in this case, I'm going to click and drag that push pin over to the approximate location of where that Salem State sign is. Okay? And I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to call it Salem State Sign. Okay? And that name, you'll see as I type it over here, shows up as the label for that push pin so that whenever this is on, people will see that automatically. The place mark dialog window also records the latitude and longitude or the uh, absolute location of that position. And I want to add some text as well. So I'm going to say, this is the Salem State sign. And I hit OK. All right. And so what people see if they have this open is the location, the logo, and then when I click on it, it shows that text that I typed in there. So that's nice. But I also want to add some imagery to this. And that's pretty easy, but it requires you to understand a little bit about uh, HTML or the code behind web pages. So in order to add imagery to anything in Google Earth, um, the image has to already be on the internet. It has to be on a web page, on a photo sharing site, or a social media site like Facebook. And what you need in is the address or the URL to that particular image so that Google Earth can then call to it and open it up. So I want to find a nice image to add to this uh, location. So if I did a search on the web, I might come across the US News and World Report education website where it has a profile of Salem State University. And I noticed when I looked through there that they had a lot of nice images, and one in particular seemed very appropriate for what we're looking for. There we have the Salem State sign with some very happy students in front of it. So I want this image. So how do I get it into Google Earth? Well, what I need, again, is the address, a URL to this image. And the way that I access that, in Firefox at least, is I right-click on it, and the, the option I want is View Image. Now, if you were using Chrome or Safari, uh, you would choose View Image in New Tab. If you're using Internet Explorer, it will depend on which version you're using. In any case, what I'm looking for is essentially something that looks like this. I've isolated the image. And in particular, if you look up at the address bar over here, you'll see the URL or the address to that just to that image. And that's what we need to give to Google Earth so that it can display that image. So I'm going to copy that URL, and I'm going to go back into Google Earth, and I'm going to open the properties of the uh, placemark that I created by right-clicking on it and choosing Properties. And then in the Properties dialog box down here, I'm going to put that image below the text that I typed. And the way that I do it is I choose the Add Image button, which is nicely there for us. And I paste that URL, that address, into that little box. And then I hit OK. And what it does is it adds the address that we copied. But you'll notice, too, that it added a little bit of a kind of funky code. You've got this less than symbol at the beginning and the um, greater than symbol at the end, along with the fact that the address is in quotes, and then you've got this IMG SRC, which essentially means image source. And this are, these are the instructions in HTML that tell Google Earth that, one, this is an image, and secondly, we want you to show it. So you don't see anything right now, but when I hit OK, and then I click on the place mark, voila, the image shows up really nicely for us. And, and that's essentially it. So now, at this point, we have a, a place mark that we've created that identifies a very specific location has text and a title and an image, and we could share this at will with anybody so they could open it up and they'd see exactly the same thing. And that's pretty much it.